camera. What are you doing back there? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, uh, we're pre we're pre gaming, and I'm getting a scalp massage from Ricky, and it kind of feels good, and I have the boner. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to 815 Local Jive. I am Uncle Chris with me, Mike LeBay, and Bailey May. Bailey May. Stop. And as always, we're making it happen with Zach Cappen. This is episode 2.4. We're also getting it on with Big John. Oh, getting it on with Big John. Yeah. I keep forgetting about that cat. Sorry, man. Tisk tisk. Sorry. It's hard to miss, man. How do you, how do, you do that? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of stuff. <laughs> as he said. So, what's going on, me, Mike? How you doing? Oh, tired, exhausted. Uh, I didn't do much last night, but had to be up at uh, Modifier Practice at about uh, 1 today, I believe it what was. What was that? Modifier Practice? Modifier Practice. So that means you guys are... We're back. You're back. Oh, we're back. <laughs> With a vengeance. Cool. Left out the curse word. Cool, cool. <laughs> How's it going, Bailey, man? I'm tired. Why are you tired? Because I had a long night. Why are you petting me? Pet the kitty. Freak. Why are you up with it? I woke up at like five. To annoy your dad? No, three, two, one, something. Why? 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 <laughs> I don't know. So what's what's new with you? What's going on with you? you Besides, you're in episode two point four. <laughs> Any local bands out there you like right now? No, never. Never? No? Lies! Wow. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a little break, and we'll be right back. Beep. Welcome back, 815 Local Jive. Uncle Chris with me, Mike LeBay. Sup, fools. Bailey May. Hey. Making it happen with Zach Captain and getting it on with Big John. <laughs> Our uh, guest today for episode 2.4 <laughs> Audio Abduction. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Woo. Introduce yourselves, starting right there. I'm Natalie, and I'm the bass player. I'm Travis, and I'm the guitar player slash really hot singer. <laughs> nice. I'm Corey, and I play that thing with the strings on it. <laughs> and I beat plastic stuff with drums, sticks, all the time, Nathan. Good recovery. <laughs> so let's let's go back starting with you. I want your ages. I am oh okay. I'm fourteen. I am seventeen. I'm sixteen. Fifteen. Soon to be sixteen, but there's a blue hair on me. <laughs> Where did that come from? It's just blue hair. <laughs> so, uh, you guys did a show for us for the 815 Disaster Relief, and that was the first time that I got to see you guys, and I was extremely impressed. Dude. <laughs> I mean, you guys are like, felt like I was your age again, man. <laughs> <laughs> setting the bar, for, you know, bands that have been playing around here for 10, 15 years, and it, it, I was, I was amazed. So as soon as I saw you guys there, I'm like, all right, we gotta do something with yeah. these. Dude, music, stage presence, overall badassness. You guys kick ass. Right. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so 2014. What do you guys have going on? Oh, uh, well, we have a lot. Uh, let's see. We're making a new album recently. We have all the gear ourselves instead of going to someone else to make our own album. We were deciding to do it ourselves because it's the true punk way, I guess. Yes. And uh, of course, playing shows for you guys. You guys got us the District Showcase and the uh, Mojos. And then uh, Whiskey's on the 22nd next month, right? Right. Um, let's see. We're playing the world's largest brat fest. When is that? Uh, May 24th. May 24th. We're playing Old Settlers Days. Uh, 
which was actually pretty surprising. They asked us back after we played them. <laughs> that was that was interesting. Cool. Then uh, actually next weekend we're uh, doing the Rami Youth Charity Jam auditions. We've been doing that for the next couple, of, well, the last couple of years. And you guys did that last year too, right? Yes, we did. Took second. Yep, second place. Shattered Picks got first, and a friend of ours. And we don't really talk anymore. Uh, Ashley Bjork got third place. They didn't even have auditions last year because there Just wasn't enough bands. Right in there. Yeah, there wasn't enough bands that signed up, which is really disappointing. How many did they end up with this year? Do you know? Six. Like six. Cool. The year before, they just had a ton. And so you guys, um, well, it hasn't been confirmed yet, so I don't want to talk about it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you have some uh, credentials within the family, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, let's, let's do that. Oh, you you three are brother and sister. Yes. yes. Yes, we are, sadly. And really who's your grandpa? <laughs> grandpa. Well, which one? Uh, yeah, wait. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> Jacobs of... The missing missing links. links. He's been in a lot of bands. <laughs> he said that they're having their 50th anniversary. Yes, they are. Yeah, we playing crap. at the ring. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. 50 years in the same band. It's ridiculous. All right. Very I cool. guess he wasn't in the band all those years. But 50 years. Close. Mikey, you got some questions? Yeah, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, Mikey. <laughs> uh, I'm scatterbrained today, dude. I just got done playing. I don't have any questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm just a fan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So influences. Uh, influence. Okay. Let's Ooh. start with you. It's all different. <laughs> what do you mean as an influence as a band as a whole, or just personally? personally that's fine. Personally, personally fine. Um, I don't know. Okay, then I'll go. <laughs> it's a long one. Let's see. Yeah, so well, the first one that made me want to start a band was listening to the Foo Fighters, like some of their older stuff. And I love Dave Grohl and everything. But then lately, uh, influences of how I write music, more of a mixture of like old punk bands, like. The Descendants and Bad Brains and uh, yeah, <laughs> all of them. The Hives are one of my favorites. People don't usually label them as a punk band, but right. back they're in the day they were, they were <laughs> punk. And uh, band Queens of the Stone Age. They're really weird. They're just all making music that is important to them and not caring what other people right, right. really care about. Go? You, Corey. Um, the I punk himself. <laughs> <laughs> I had a pretty long list myself. Uh, I think I got inspired playing to play guitar by listening to bands that just, you know, like, wow, you know, you want to play that music. And uh, that's how I got playing guitar. And He's a drummer. We, yeah, I started playing drums and moved to guitar, but uh, one of my main influences uh, right now is uh, Jay Mackis of Dinosaur Jr. Um, I love, you know, no effects. I love, uh, just, there's an endless <laughs> list of bands. It's funny hearing these names, man. I know. <laughs> but uh, that's cool. Yeah, I grew up slamming the no effects, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're the best. Band. Yeah, yeah. Your opinion. Yeah. yeah. What do you got? Oh well, most of the stuff that yeah. he's got. I mean, no, don't do that. <laughs> he's always like same thing he. Had. Well, because stolen <laughs> food fighters, the hives. There's got to be a band besides I'm, the well, band. Sublime. I, I, I like oh. Sublime a lot. There you go. Totally forgot our reggae roots. Or yeah, ska roots. A lot of ska, yeah. reggae, Operation Ivy. I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So yeah. what's, uh, what's the uh, end game for you guys? I mean, what, what what is it you're looking to do? I mean, do you want to be out there? Do you wanna well, I mean, of course we want to be out there, but I don't want to necessarily, like, I watch too many interviews of people I like and uh <laughs> well don't we all yeah I don't want to make it like that because right. a lot of bands do that they'll just oh they'll just come on the spot and they're huge right away and then they just die out if you really want to make it you need to gain an audience and have people put the time and effort yeah, exactly into it. Mm -hmm. and uh <laughs> that's what we want to do it's very cool. I mean if we don't even make it anywhere this it's not like we're making music necessarily for other people we're doing it because we enjoy it right yeah, it's fun if it, it. yeah <laughs> if, if it's just a hobby I, oh well I mean it's fun to do this very cool really fun so ending statements ending statements something you want to say something you're looking forward to 2014 hmm. It's our year. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Should opening for Modifier. Opening. Yeah. yeah. March 22nd at Whiskey's Roadhouse. The return of the outlaws. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're back. Ending statement. 2014.
know. Yes, you do. No, I don't. <laughs> we got shows. She's yeah. the basis. Yeah. Well, I guess well, what I want out of this year is we're just going to play every show we possibly can. Cool. And since we're all homeschooled, I mean, we can do shows in the middle of the week. It doesn't matter. We just give your parents a... Oh, exactly. Yes. You guys want to come on camera? <laughs> come on, parents. <laughs> come on, Angie. Come on, come oh, on, no. Dan. The no. ginger awaits. No? Actually, from what I've been told, Angie did a hell of a job yeah. playing yeah, our Tuesday night playing showcase the with uh, have to oh, that's in that's here. Yeah, the camera. playing with uh, Olivia De floor. Olivia Dvorak and also <laughs> Whalebone. Yeah, uh, thanks that was for having a, me out. So this, is, this is Angie Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> Three of them. Not the Mexican. Yeah. No. He's not. Oh. Sure? <laughs> she, she doesn't want to claim yeah. the Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. That's all you guys talking about. Oh, we got to love of music in our family. You know, it started with my dad, and he passed it on to me. And, the, you know, actually, the kids all kind of took it on themselves. We just inspired them. We took them to rap concerts. We gave them every tool that they could it's use. And it's like, we're just encouraging them, like, make yeah. your own thing. Take Do notes, what you Dad. Can. And, and they took off. He, he started, and then he taught. They kind of taught well, each well. other. It's weird. We, they've never had lessons. I've shown them a few teach things. Me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to point he out, taught, he me. taught me to like him less. <laughs> <laughs> you guys do all your own graphic work. Yeah. yeah. So actually, we had a problem. Like we had like half of our CD that we're working on done, and I, we have like Photoshop, all our stuff on there, and our computer crashed and erased everything. Oh. It's been a bad week. We can't oh. retrieve it. So now I can't even do our own graphic work or anything because we lost the program. No. We're getting there. Well, if you know if you ever need help, that's the guy to talk to. That's the guy. I'm gonna talk to that guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I want to thank every, I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to thank mom for stepping on. I love um, A15. <laughs> thanks, dad. Yeah, yeah. Local, yeah. local Jive, Uncle Chris, me, Mike LeBay. Thank you, Bay audio Bay. abduction. Make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. happen. Get it out with Big John. Hugs, kisses, high fives. See you next episode. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Cool.